Good morning, campers. This is Crusader Rabbit KBNY 5962 starting our broadcasting day. And today, for your viewer enjoyment, we're going to be bringing you the Minox B. It is a uh, 15 millimeter f3.5 lens. I don't know if you can read. That might be kind of hard. That should that should say 15 millimeter f3.5. It is a sub miniature. Uh, the film width, I believe, is uh, I think they call it 8 by 11, but I think the actual film width is something around uh, uh, 9.2 millimeters. Uh, it's uh, got some very basic controls. Uh, right here we have the exposure counter, number of exposed frames. Right here we have uh, this, this dial is your focus and it'll focus from uh, infinity all the way down to 8 inches. And on the uh, chain, for, for every one of these, like 8 inches, 1 foot, uh, you know, uh, 1.6, each, each little increment there, uh, up to, uh, 2, uh, there, there's like a little, on the, on the chain, there's like a, a little bead on the, on, on the chain, so that would be like 8 inches right there, and that would be like, uh, 1, 1, 1 foot. And then, the entire length of the chain is, uh, the, the, the entire length of the chain is two feet. And it came with a very nice little leather leather carrying case. And the chain is uh, detachable. You can uh, turn turn this and swivel it. It, it detaches. And then you just like push it in and, and turn again. And then it, then it goes back in. Uh, this right here is the shutter release. This dial here is the uh, where you set the shutter speed. And over here, uh, this is the light meter. And when you, uh, the light meter is a selenium cell. And when you press the button, it activates the light meter. So if I turn the light off, uh, you can see how the, how the needle moves down. Uh, if I turn the light on low, or if I uh, turn it on high, you can see how it... Uh, low, high, low, high. And then when you let up on the button, it, it freezes the needle on, on the meter. So the way that you actually use the meter is you take your little ASA button here. When you, when you turn your film speed dial, uh, it also moves the uh, light meter in a uh, little dial over there. So if I'm going to be on ASA 400, I can set the ASA to 400 right there. And then I can press down uh, for whatever reading it's going to be. So if the reading is right there, then I, then I let up. And then I take the arrow and I turn the arrow to wherever uh, the... Uh, light meter points to, and now that the arrow is pointing to the same line that the light meter has aligned to, uh, this is going to be my shutter speed. So it's going to be one one hundredth of a second at the uh, ASA 400 that I, that I had. And then I can go ahead and, and set my focus. So why don't we go ahead and uh, listen to the um, shutter. Oh, there, there, there's a couple more features here. Well, the Film Advance is simply uh, opening, and you that's the shutter release. And then when you close and open again, that uh, advances the, the, the frame. And the, so you can hear the shutter there at one one hundredth of a second. Uh, when you advance the film, if you look at 
if you if you if you can see that there if you if you look at the actual lens this is your actual lens and this is your uh, viewfinder right here and of course this is your selenium cell if you look at the lens you can see like that little circle there uh, that's how you know that your uh, shutter is cocked when you hit the shutter release you take a picture and then that little thing disappears now also uh, you can uh, slide this little bar here and I don't know if you can see that but uh, I have slid a uh, little filter in front I'm not sure if that's like a you know minus one minus 0.5 minus one minus 1.5 filter I probably need to look that up and then also if you keep sliding you get a, a ND filter and I'm not sure what that is I don't know if that's like a you know ND plus five or whatever anyway so that's uh, there's there's two filters that you can put in front of the lens and uh, oh while we're still doing features uh, right here there's like a little press when the camera is open and that's how you press and you insert your film cartridge then when you're done you just uh, go ahead and close it back up so why don't we go ahead and start off at uh, let you hear the shutter here it goes from one one thousandth of a second down to a half a second and it has a B and T settings so if I move to the um, T setting and I've cocked the shutter I can uh, trigger the shutter on the T setting and the shutter stays open until I press the shutter release again I uh, hope you can hear that and then on the uh, B setting you go ahead and you press the shutter release and then it stays open until you let up on the shutter and there's a slight delay you can probably hear that let's 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 do that again so you're getting maybe like another quarter of a second after you let up on the shutter to press and the shutter is open and then once you let up shutter closes so let's go ahead and go to a half of a second so you can hear that very very quiet Then let's do a fifth of a second. And then let's do a tenth of a second. And then let's go ahead and do a twentieth of a second. And then let's go ahead and do a fiftieth of a second. And then let's go ahead and change to a one one hundredth of a second. And let's go ahead and change to a two hundredth of a second. Then we can change to a five hundredth of a second. and then we'll change to the final setting of one one thousandth of a second so those are all the shutter speeds and uh, T and B usage uh, the frame count it, it, it seems like the camera is fully functional I, I really wasn't expecting the camera to be fully functional when I purchased it I was going to use it more as like a uh, wall child, flower child, uh, shelf display but now that it's actually uh, appears to be fully functional I have decided to go ahead and get some accessories for it and the accessories that I'm getting is a film splitter that allows me to take uh, regular uh, 35 you know millimeter uh, you know like HP 5 plus and split it to uh, the uh, nine millimeter that I that I need for the um, for the to load the little film cassettes that that go in there uh, 
I've also purchased a, uh, a couple of uh, reels that I, because uh, obviously I'm doing my own developing, so a uh, you know 35 millimeter reel is, is not going to uh, work in my Jobo tank. So I ordered a couple uh, reels for Minox film that will fit in my Jobo tank and allow me to <coughs> develop the film that comes out. So I'll be able to cut my own black and white film, load it into the canisters, and, and develop. And that is, that is the, the Minox B. Uh, made in Germany f3.5 uh, 15 millimeter lens uh, appears to be fully functional as uh, soon as I get all of my little uh, accessories ordered up and in I'll go ahead and shoot some film develop it and make another video and see if it truly is fully functional and if it uh, shoots film and if I can process it so, I'd like to say thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the show. This is Crusader Rabbit, KBNY 5962, ending our broadcasting day. Uh, good night, campers.